Actually, Tunisia is the shining example of the Arab Spring. We had an Islamist party that negotiated, negotiated with seculars. They wrote, drafted the best constitution they could come up with, and the international community abandoned them. What were the requests of the Arab Spring? What happened in Egypt? We had a coup, basically, by a thug and a tyrant called Sisi, who killed in the streets thousands of people, took power. What did he do? There's more corruption more in Egypt today than ever. There's more oppression. A girl was killed in the street for holding flowers a year ago. What we see in Tunisia, actually, we see people protesting peacefully. Yes, sometimes there are clashes, but we don't see what we see in Syria, where you have barrel bombs. We have people basically being killed from home to home, where the regime is using even food to starve their own people. Yes, it's not perfect. It's not great. But you know what? Today is also the day of Martin Luther King. Today is the day where a black man marched and forced America to address the race issue. What did he say? He said, the arch of history is long. It goes forward, sideways, and backwards, but always bends toward justice. The Arab people are asking three things. It's what your people in this country demanded after their revolution, democracy dignity and freedom, but we need to support them. We know that there's Arab regimes, Saudi Arabia, the Emiratis, who are the counter-revolutionaries who are pumping billions of dollars in what? Oppressive police states around the Middle East. This is what we're seeing.